Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Yeah. So here we are again. So mm -hmm. welcome to Kingdom Connect, the youth edition of, of Kingdom, Kingdom Talk. Talk. Yes. So dito na naman po kami nag we're doing what God has mandated us to do. So yes. So it is um, good morning to Philippines and uh, hello to world. <laughs> yes. I'm okay. very excited right now because uh, it's it's a good day, a good start, a good day to start with positivity, positivity. Yes. In a word and song, you can find her on you can find her CD on Spotify, iTunes or Apple Music titled The Simple Gospel. God has called her to be an evangelist and to stir up a passion in believers of Jesus Christ to share the gospel and live on mission every day. Wow! Yeah, so that was Minister Cherry Anderson. Anderson. So without further ado, let's try to reach her. Yes, and of course, we are now calling her. And as, as as we are still reaching our guests, I'm I just wanna share I just wanna um, greet the viewers. Uh, good morning, of course, uh, to all <laughs> the viewers. <laughs> we are very happy that you are still viewing this program and the Kingdom Talk. Oh wow! Yes, and. Our Hello, guest Manche. is on air. Oh, I hear you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mom Cherry. Oh, hello, yes. Mr. Cherry. Greetings from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. We are. Yeah, very, I'm happy to be with you guys. Yes, yes. and we are also blessed yes. to have you on this program. We're so excited to hear the message. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm I'm ready to share some some good news with you. You guys want to hear some good news? Yes, yes. amen. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus lives, yes, <laughs> and yes, He's amen. coming back. Yes, and yes. we must be ready. Yes, we must. <laughs> and we have to take as many with us as we can. Yes, <laughs> yes amen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, where would you like to start? Uh, <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, um, yeah. That you you mentioned my CD and and um, the book that I just released. And so, let me just give you a little background on how that came about. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. about six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just going through my, my study of books, and um, I ran across a book that was called The Way of the Master, mm. and uh, it was written by Ray Comfort. I highly recommend the book, and I was so convicted on, on how we share the gospel, wow. and I came to realize that I was not selling the full gospel. I was telling people a partial truth. And I felt like I was not being very, very clear in how I was sharing the gospel, and I wanted to be more effective. So I set out to learn how Jesus shared the, the good news. Mm -hmm. And so I researched the word. I, I read a lot of books on evangelism, and I started to do my own um, small groups. Mm -hmm. And so I would post um, groups in my home, and we would all learn together mm -hmm. how to be a better witness for Christ, how to be a better evangelist, and, and to, to present the full gospel. And when I say a partial gospel, basically what I'm meaning at that is, is that so often it's easy to say, well, come to Jesus and he'll give you a wonderful, beautiful life. Yes. And we want to kind of, you know, because that's an easy that's an easy thing to say, right? As opposed to yes. come yes. to Jesus because we're sinners in need of a savior mm -hmm. and that we must come with a heart of repentance and that you know we are 
we are uh, we can't be good enough in our own abilities and that we need the blood of Jesus to cleanse us so that we can be righteous before a holy God and and if we are not then the, the wrath of God is against us mm -hmm. and we can go to hell if we die in our sins mm -hmm. and so you know that's the full gospel right yes. and and Jesus came not to just give us a wonderful beautiful life mm -hmm. although he can give us a wonderful beautiful yes. life but mm -hmm. that that's not the reason we come that's yes. not the reason yeah. we don't come to Jesus just to see you know that okay we'll just make everything okay yes. well if, if we might have sown a lot of bad seed and we might be reaping from the bad things that we've done and the, the from our sin and so it may take a while for things yes. to start to work mm -hmm. out you know mm -hmm. and 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 when we look at the the lives of the disciples the disciples had a lot of hardship you know it wasn't they didn't just follow Jesus just for him to give them everything they wanted and to meet their needs but they came because they wanted to follow him and be a disciple and and they were they were captivated by who he was and his message yes. and wow. they wanted to surrender all to him and to mm -hmm. and to follow him and so that's that's really what i talk about when i'm i'm saying presenting the full gospel and not just selling people um a gospel that that could really deceive them because if somebody says okay well i'll come to jesus and i'll believe in jesus but if you're divorced or what if someone still dies and has a hardship or something and things don't turn around then what are they then they're going well you told me that everything was going to be okay and mm -hmm. you know but you see what i'm saying yeah, so it's especially. just it's just really important that we know the word and we yes. know yeah. you know what we're what we're presenting yes mm -hmm. yeah so so in this in this book um, I really, really wanted to make it very, very simple. I wanted to make the gospel mm -hmm. presentation nothing more than opening up a spiritual conversation with someone, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so when you sit down and, and as opposed to feeling like we have to preach a message and come, very often we can come across too strongly, instead we need to build a bridge and we build a bridge with people and make that connection with people yes, by yes, an amen. act of kindness, by praying for them, by asking them questions about themselves and what they believe and where where they where they're at, you know. And until we know what that person is is what their understanding is mm -hmm. and what they what maybe hang-ups they may have against God, then how do we really know to, where to go in the conversation? Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important that we, we learn to just ask questions. Mm -hmm. And that's what Jesus always did. Jesus always asked a question. And oftentimes he even answered with a question. Mm -hmm. and, and so we, we need to follow the example of Jesus and and I, I'd like to show you know share an example with you. So so when in John, so let me get over to my notes here. So mm -hmm. um, in John four, um, it's actually the the almost the whole chapter of John four one mm -hmm. through forty two. This is the story of when he meets the Samaritan woman at the well. Mm -hmm. And so when we look at the example of Jesus and how he shared the gospel, the first thing he did was. He took a conversation from the natural to the spiritual yes. and he did that by using an analogy of living water mm -hmm. right yes. so he asked the woman you know for, for a drink and then he said you know well I give I give water the living water so that you will never thirst yes. mm -hmm. and so he kind of turned that conversation from the natural to spiritual mm -hmm. yes. and it got her curious mm -hmm. Right, yes, right, yes. and and he started to build a bridge by he started to extend hospitality, mm. right? Yes, he he, and really back then it was taboo 
you know, for the Jews to have anything to do with the Samaritan and especially a woman. Mm-hmm. And, and I think there's a message in that, in that we have to not think that we're too good to be able to, to go to people that maybe, maybe outcasts, mm-hmm. um, maybe go places, you know, in, in the streets and to prisons and dark places where a lot of people don't always want to go. But, but Jesus was not afraid to, to mix with people that were maybe considered outcasts. And we need to be the same, right? We need yes, to be willing yes. to go wherever, you know, the Lord tells us to go, right? Yes. And, and I know, Shekinah, your, your father is doing that, right? Your yes. father goes to this, the children on the streets, and he goes outside the walls of the church. Yes. And that's, that's very important. We have to get outside the walls of our church. Mm-hmm. And we have to go to where these people are, right? Yes, yes right. So that's, that's what right. Jesus was doing. He was, he was, he was going to places where people didn't want to necessarily go. And then the the, the next thing he did is he demonstrated the power his by of the prophetic knowledge he had about her, right? Yes. He basically said, you know, you you've had previous five previous husbands, and she's yes. like. How did you know that? <laughs> right? Yes. Right? And so That's right. he started to demonstrate the power of God. Right? Mm, well, as believers yes. in Jesus Christ, we have the same spirit within us. Right? Yes. So we can we can operate in that prophetic gift. Mm-hmm. We, can, we can trust that God will give us knowledge about someone. And when we get that insight into someone and we share that with someone... They're seeing the power of God demonstrated, aren't they? Yes. I had a very good example just recently. I, I approached a young lady in a in a restaurant, and I, I asked her if I could pray for her. And she mm-hmm. said, well, okay, you know. <laughs> and I told her, I said, I'm a Christian. And I said, God, you know, speaks through us to others to encourage them and to let them know that he sees you, he knows you, yes. he loves you, and he wants to he wants to encourage you today. So hey, really? through prayer, is it okay mm-hmm. if I do that? And so she was like, okay. And then I asked her, well, do you have any religious background? What do you believe? And she said, well, I don't really believe in anything. I, I don't know what to believe. Mm-hmm. And so, but yet she still allowed me to pray for her. And so as I started to pray for her, God started to give me a word of knowledge. He gave me an insight into this girl. And as I prayed into that, and when we finished praying, she looked at me so stunned and said, how did you know those things about me? And I said, well, like I said, it's the power of God. It's, It's nothing. It's just God using me as a vessel to show himself to you yes. and so she just said can I can I give you a hug and she <laughs> hugged me and she was so excited and she said I I just I've had such a bad day and things have just not been going very good for me and she said I can't tell you what this meant to me oh. and so oh. it, it's just a perfect example how an act of kindness yes. can yes, open up the heart the, the power of God demonstrated, you know, just like Jesus did, right? With yes, the woman right. at the well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then the next thing um, Jesus did is he referenced the seventh commandment. He referenced the law. And the reason he referenced the seventh commandment, which is do not commit adultery, is that the law was given to us to show us our sin. Yes. So the, the law is is not something that's abolished. You yes. know, Jesus said, I came to fulfill the law, not to do away with the law. I came to fulfill it. So the law is still important today because the law shows us our humanity mm-hmm. and our sin. Yes. And so yes. when we measure our goodness against the law, the Ten Commandments, wow. it shows us how off the mark we are yes, right yes that's right yes, and that's so right. that's what he did he sh- yeah and so then we're not saved by the law right yes mm-hmm. but we're we're only driven to our knees the law the law only shows us that we're sinners 
Yes. And then from that pushes us to our knees. It pushes us to a point of repentance. And it pushes us to the point of realizing mm-hmm. that I'm not good enough in my own goodness. Right? Yes. yes. So that was, that was the other thing he did. And then he said he promised to be her savior. He didn't promise to give her a wonderful life. He said, I promise to be your savior. Wow. And so he made the main thing the main thing was come to Jesus because you need a Lord and Savior. Mm-hmm. And and then, of course, as we follow God's law, as we follow God's word, as we sow good seed, then we start to see a harvest in our life. We start to see the good things of God and the promises of God start to come to pass. But it doesn't always happen right away. And so then the last thing that happened in the story was is she believed, and then her testimony convinced others that Jesus was real. Yeah, wow. So that's yes. just a perfect example mm-hmm. of how we need to share the gospel as well, right? Yes, that's yes. our that's our example right there, right? Yeah. So Amen. so in my my yeah. So so basically, what I do in my book is I just kind of break all those things down in a very simple. And a very applicable thing way into our lives. Yes, it's like, how can we take it and and make the gospel something that we live and we think about and that we're conscious of every day, not just on Sunday, but we're ambassadors for Jesus Christ every single day mm-hmm. in our workplace, out on the streets, in our schools, everywhere that we are becomes a mission field yeah. that's right and mm-hmm. that's right we need to we had, need to have a mindset change to mm-hmm. look at our surroundings yes. as as our mission field that we don't have to go to another country mm-hmm. right yes. to yes, go on do. mission we yes. can go on mission the minute we walk out our door yes. we go on mission yes, because, we say mm-hmm. the lord Lord, I'm going about my day today, yes. and I ask you to give me eyes to see yes. and let me discern the leading of your spirit. And as we do that, he will show us who to talk to. Yes. He will tell us what to say and how to pray. And we don't have to worry about, you know, we don't need to overthink it. You know, we just need to surrender our hearts surrender our lives and say God here I am use me use me for your glory amen and that's exactly that's exactly what he does in fact I want to share with you this is my this is one of my favorite scriptures and I and I use this often because this is really this is the the part of the great commission right mm-hmm. is yeah. the is the, the call right okay so we're all called so Romans 10 13 through 15. It says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? Yes. And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? Mm-hmm. And how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? Mm-hmm. That is why the scripture says, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring good news. Amen. Yes, that's right. Amen. 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 That's yes. what you're doing. That's what you're doing on this radio program. Yes. You are messengers, right? Yes. How beautiful are the feet of the messengers that bring good news. You're opening up the airwaves for the good news to go forth, Bless right? To God. That's, yeah. You're taking advantage yes. of your mission field. And you're saying, Lord, we want to get out the good news. We want to get out the good of news of the gospel. Yes. Right? Right? Amen. Yes. Right? But you know, the thing is, is that you, do you have a theology degree? No. <laughs> no? I don't have a theology degree either. But does that, does that disqualify us? No, no, it's not. Not at all. That's right. Because every believer in Jesus Christ is a minister of the gospel. Yes, yes amen. Right. We, we are all position. qualified. Yes. That's yes. right. We do not have to stand on a pulpit. 
We yes. don't have to be on a radio program. We don't have to have a special degree yes. because God qualifies us. Yes. He That's says right. that we are more than because we carry the same spirit yes. that Jesus Christ, that rose Jesus Christ from the grave. It's the same spirit that is within us. We have such power and mm-hmm. such authority, mm-hmm. and we must realize that and and come to a, a place of, of a, we need a revelation, right? Yes, we need a yes. revelation yes. Of, of who we are in Christ and the power that we carry and and that we can be such an instrument of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, we, yes. Are, we are instruments. We are vessels of the Holy Spirit. And it's not us who save people. We're only the messengers. Yes. We're only sowing the seeds. The and so as we sow the seed, then we say, okay, Lord, I've done my part. Now it's up to you. And then we leave that. And we don't take on that false responsibility thinking that, well, if someone didn't pray to receive Christ right at that moment, that it was a failed opportunity. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's just wrong. It's not. any Anytime we have an opportunity to pray, to encourage someone, to yeah. give them a Bible, yeah. to yeah. sow those seeds, every little thing that we do all adds up to the big picture. Yeah. Right? Yes. We're all part of, of this great commission to go and make disciples. Yes. That's, that's who we are. Amen. That's who we are. Amen. But, Amen. but I, just, I just feel like the devil, though, has really deceived many Christians. Mm-hmm. And many Christians have become silent. They're, they've silenced their voice. They're, they're, they're listening to society. And, and they're listening to... Um, these these wrong teachings and it's like we, we're not being judgmental just because we share the word of God mm-hmm. and the truth we're not being judgmental we're not we're not pointing our fingers at them we're just only sharing the truth of God because yes. we love them so much yes. right yes. We're, we're we're not bringing condemnation. Mm-hmm. We're just bringing the word of God, but the Holy Spirit does bring conviction, right? Yeah, he, he must bring some conviction. That's that's what makes us change, right? When yes. we when we're convicted of something, so it's you know it's not it's not a bad thing if someone feels convicted because that is the catalyst that can then open their eyes to the truth, right? Yeah. So right. we we need to not again not not come from a position of of yes. judgment or of being harsh but we can share the truth in love yes. and we can we can stand up for what we know is true no matter what the world says yes. because Amen. the world the, 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 there's a counterculture out there and mm-hmm. it's completely opposite from the culture of God it's 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 completely opposite and so when we listen to the world and and we can't base our our um we can't base anything on because it's so skewed. Everything about the world is is backwards because you know the devil's alive and well and he's yes. you know he's out to steal and deceive and destroy mm-hmm. us. Yes. Um but we are we are more than conquerors, amen. Yes, amen. amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. And we can't let fear stop us. Yes. Because that's that's what silences so many Christians is fear, right? And yes. it's real. I mean, it's a real emotion. Yes. We all feel fear, right? There's yes. fear. Yes. We, it, it's an emotion. We recognize that. But we can overcome that fear by the power of God's word and by stepping out and saying, I'm going to do it anyway. Yes. No matter how I feel mm-hmm. inside. I'm not gonna listen to my feelings. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bow to those feelings. I'm going to to stand for God because I want to please God. And I'm more concerned about pleasing God than pleasing man or satisfying myself. That's right. Amen. Right? Amen. Wow. Amen. So we, we have to be we have to be vigilant. And I really feel there's such an urgency. I really feel that God is really stirring revival 
in, yes. in across the globe. Uh-huh. I mean, there's right. there is there is a move of God. There is revival, co- and we want to be part of it, don't we? Yes. Don't yes. we want to be a part of this this move of God? We don't want to miss it. <laughs> yes. That's right. We want to be on God's program. We want to be. Um, you know, on on this move of God that He's making right now, where He's raising up the body of Christ, and and it's no longer again the man uh, behind the pulpit or the, or the the person with the theology degree. Now it's the believers of Jesus Christ yes. rising up this this silent giant. It's a giant. The, yes. the body of Christ is a giant, and we need that to awaken that sleeping giant. And if we would awaken to the to what's happening and what God's doing, we can do amazing things. Yeah. We can do amazing things for God. Yes. Amen. And we, can, we can take many with us. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> many rooms. <laughs> right, right. Um, did you guys have any particular questions or anything that you wanted me to kind of talk a little bit more about? Um, the, your, the message was very clear and uh, wow, we were, we were very, but, uh, it was very clear and we very much understood the message. Yes. Wow. Thanks Good. God. Thank Good. Lord God. Good. Very timely. Good. Yes. And of course, yeah, it's, it's very relevant to the youth. Yes. We, you know what, um, Minister Cherry, I, um, I was, um, I was touched by what you said that, um, fear is the reason why um, fear hinders us from doing what God has mandated Amen. us to do. And um, I always, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. But uh, your your fear hinders you. Yes, so my yes. yes. Fear is my weakness. Yeah. Sometimes Amen. it hinders me to to approach someone that I might get rejected or something like that. <laughs> That's right. I know. And that's so common for people to say that. Yes. But, you know, one of the things yes. I realized, Shekinah, mm-hmm. is that it never plays out as bad as we imagine it. Yes. Because in our mind, we think, oh, they're going to reject us. Oh, they're going to say this. <laughs> they're going to say that. Yeah. I'm telling you, it never plays out like we think it should or like it would. Right? Yes. It, we, should, we, cannot, we can't listen to those lies because mm-hmm. that's what the devil whispers yes. in our ear. Uh-huh. Yes. He whispers yeah. those things. Oh, yeah. they're not going to want to hear it. They're going to reject you, blah, 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 blah. But they really mm-hmm. don't because when we come from a place of love, when, we, when people see the sincerity yes. and yes. the concern in our eyes and we have done some type of act of kindness towards them, People just do not get upset about it. They really don't. I, I mean, I just have not had very many people at all uh-huh. ever say, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, they just don't. And yes. we got to remember, yes. too, that if they don't accept the gospel right then, that doesn't mean they've rejected you. It just means it's not their time. Mm, it's wow. not now. It's gotten to that place. Because remember, mm-hmm. we all... We all wonder why we were not saved sooner, right? Yes. I mean, yes. I, don't you wonder sometimes, like, why wasn't I saved a long time ago? Why why yes. now? Well, that's a mystery, isn't it? Yes. It's, it's a mystery of when people come to that, that knowledge of Christ. Uh-huh. And it's by the yes. grace of God, right? Yes. And so yes. we just have to look at it as like, okay, I guess it was. it's not that person's time quite yet. But... I'm still going to sow those seeds because on average people have to hear the gospel almost seven times before they finally accept it. On mm-hmm. average. Yes. yes. On Amen. average. Amen. On average. Amen. Right. Wow. Right. So you could just be maybe three or four. Who knows, right? But you're going to be part of the overall coming, you know, for them coming to know Christ. Eventually yes. Yes. they Amen. will. Because we have to believe that the word of God it never fails, right? Of it course. never returns yes. void, right? The Amen. scripture says, my word never returns void, and it will accomplish what I sent it out to do in due season, right? In due season. Yes. So we have to remember that, right? Yes. And yes. not get frustrated when it doesn't happen on our timing. Amen. 
Yes, of course. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, fear, fear is a, is a, is a thing. But you know, the Bible talks about fear a lot, and it says, "Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear yes. not." There are so many times the, in the, the Bible it says, "Fear not." Fear not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's right. It says, "Fear not, I am with you." Fear not, I am with you. Fear not, I have overcome. Uh -huh. wow. Right. And wow. so, if we really trust God, if we really trust God, and we really trust who He is, then we, we're not going to we we're not going to fear because we know that we trust God and we believe in His His timing and His will. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. That Amen. Me. Um, good. Well, that's that's what I, you know. That's what we need to do, right? We need yes. to stir each other up in good yes. gifts and yes. good deeds, right? We stir each other up. We, 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 and this is what my book is all about. It's in, it's about stirring up and encouraging and giving people boldness and giving them lots of different tools. And it's got tons and tons of scripture in the book. Wow. And it's a very easy read. It's only about 125 pages. And I wanted it to be like a resource, like a yes. book that you would keep with you all the time. And you would refer to it and refer to it, and you would use it quite often. And so people can go right on Amazon and order Amazon. the book. It's only $10. US mm -hmm. And so I really hope your, you know, your listeners and you guys will, you know, will get it and use it as a tool. You know, use it as a resource, um, you know, along with your Bible, of course. It doesn't replace the Bible. But I give you all the scriptures and all the different um, tools to use in different situations. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. That was great. <laughs> and I'm sure the mm -hmm. listeners got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I, uh, yes, I, yes. I wish I could have that book <laughs> because it might help me. <laughs> it will help you. And I don't know. Can you guys get Amazon there? Can you order from Amazon? In the Philippines? I think oh, we have an Amazon yeah. app here. Yes, uh, I think we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have Amazon, you just, yeah, you can order it right from there. Yeah. Um, the other thing, too, is um, I wanted to go over a few do's and don'ts. Can I do that? Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, of course. Okay. So there's some do's and don'ts when we are sharing the gospel. So let me give you some of the do's. So these are the things to do. So... Mm -hmm. Be friend, be friendly, and uh -huh. be kind. Of course, yes. be considerate of people. Mm -hmm. Maintain eye contact. Let them yes. see the love of God in your eyes. If you're outside, don't wear sunglasses because they need to see your eyes. They need yes. to see that. Um, ask permission to speak to them. Don't just barge in and start, yes. you know, so. preaching a message. You know, ask permission to be able to speak with them or pray with them. Mm. Um, Ask them questions. Learn how to ask people questions. You know, what kind of religious background do you have? Do you believe in God? What do you think happens when people die? You know, what, have you made peace with God? You know, do you know who Jesus Christ is? You know, just ask questions and, and get the conversation going. Um, and that helps them to really know that you care about them and what they have to say. Yes. Um, have, have ministering equipment. My book. Yes. A Bible, uh, the 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 CD that I produced. That's a great way to just share the gospel as well. Um, and then I always um, like to have like if I go out to a restaurant, I try to give a very good tip. You know, I mm -hmm. try to bless people with money whenever I can. Um, and that's I mean that's a huge thing because when you bless someone by paying for something or giving them money. That shows them right there that you care about them, yes. and they you will you will gain access, mm -hmm. yes. you know, to be able to share the gospel with them. The other thing is we want to build a bridge, not a wall, right? Mm -hmm. yes. We want to be careful mm -hmm. not to attack their beliefs. Mm -hmm. Don't attack what they believe. Yes. We only just basically hear what they say, but then say, "Can I share you with you what the Bible says?" And then we share what the Bible says. Um, Let's see. Be an a, be a person of honor and integrity yes. in your workplace. Be respectful. You know. Be an excellent witness yes. because 
people, we don't want to give a brother a reason to stumble, right? Amen. And so Amen. we have to make sure that our actions are backed up, you know, mm-hmm. by that we're not just saying it, but we're acting it out. We're, yes. we're a, a demonstration in everything that we do of who we are and what we believe. So our testimony and the way we live our life is very, very important. Yes. We, we have to live pure and holy yes. because hypocrites, that's one of the biggest turnoff for people is, is hypocrites. Yes. You know, they'll say, well, they, they said to do this and this and this, but then they do the same thing or they're, you know, they're, they're sinning and they're out sleeping around or they're doing drugs or whatever the case may be. You know, we have to be very careful to keep ourselves, you know, pure and holy. Yeah. Um, and and then um, I'll share with this uh, this scripture. This is Second Timothy two, twenty three through twenty six. It says, "Have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant conversa- uh, controversies. You know that they breed quarrels. Mm-hmm. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but be kind to everyone, be able to teach, patiently enduring." correcting his opponents with gentleness god may perhaps grant them then the repentance that leads to the knowledge of truth and they may come to their senses then and escape from the snare of the devil Mm -hmm. after being captured by him to do his will Mm -hmm. right isn't that good so it says right there we have to be very careful not to get into arguments yes because if what once it gets into an argument, you just as well stop right there yes. <laughs> because yes. they're not going to want to listen because then it just becomes who's right and who's wrong, yes. you know, so we don't want to do that. Um, and then these are some don'ts. So these are some of the things we want to make sure that we don't do. So we don't want to have a holier than thou type of attitude. Mm-hmm. We don't want to be judgmental. Yes. We don't want to try to win an argument and get it into a debate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, we don't want to talk too much. Yes. We don't want to be too loud. Yes. We don't want to be super spiritual. Mm-hmm. We have to be very careful not to use the Christian language because <laughs> yes. a, an unbeliever doesn't understand yes. the blood of Jesus. They don't understand the prophetic. Don't they don't they don't understand a lot of these words that we commonly use. Mm-hmm. So we have to be careful to keep it in a very normal type of language, mm-hmm. right? Yes. And we don't want to turn them off. Yes. We don't want to be too preachy. Yes. We don't want to preach. We don't want to be, we don't want to attack or criticize. Yes. yes. Um, we, we can't just assume they know who Jesus is and why he came. Of course. Because a lot of people know who Jesus, they, they've heard of Jesus, but they have no idea why he really yes. came. Yes. And, and that's the crux of the gospel right there. We have to tell people why he came. Yes. That's very, very important. Yes. Um, and let's see, I think that's, so yeah, that's, so that's just, you know, my, some of my do's and don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very, I uh, know, very helpful. Uh, very helpful indeed. Yes. It will be useful when you will be approaching someone and sharing yes. them this. Wow. Thank you for giving us yes. um, this lear- this knowledge. Yes, strats. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Can I give you one of? Can I give you a, an assignment? Oh sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna give you an assignment. Okay, so this is called treasure hunting, uh-huh. and this is uh this is an outreach activity that is really great to do, and. I found that young people really love to do this. Mm-hmm. So what you do is you get a group of your Christian friends together mm-hmm. and you get before the Lord mm-hmm. and you have a piece of paper and pen. And so everybody just is very quiet and sits before the Lord and says, Lord, give me clues like you're going on a treasure hunt. Mm-hmm. Okay. So give me clues of who you want me to talk to when we go out in our outreach activity. So you write down whatever comes to mind. It yeah, could be a so. color, it could be a place, it could be a name. Whatever comes to your mind, don't even question it. Just when it pops in your head, you write it on the piece of paper. Then you pray together. You ask God to be with you and to, to give you boldness. And you go out into a community. Okay, let's say you go to a local shopping center. And then you're looking for these clues. So when you get a clue, 
So like I'll give you an example. So I one of my clues was um, a man with high top, white high top tennis shoes. I got the word high top tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. So I walked into a store and I saw this man and he was sitting in this chair and he looked pretty rough. I mean, he looked really rough. And I would have never probably approached him because he looked that scary. <laughs> so, but he had white top tennis shoes on. And I just knew that was one of my clues. So I went up to him and I said, you know, we're a local youth group and we're out praying for people. And we asked God to give us clues of who to talk to today. And you're one of those clues. You have shoes on and that was on my list. And I want to pray for you. And he said, oh my goodness. He said, I just got out of prison about a month ago. And he said, I have really been trying to get my life right with God. He goes, I, I'm tired of my life and I want to get my, my life right with God. Wow. <laughs> wow. See what I mean? Yeah. And it was perfect because then God showed us who to approach based on this clue. And so it built, our, it built my faith to know that I can hear from God, I can pray for God, and then he's setting up divine appointments. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. It, um, for me, it is not a challenge, but it is a, one of the strategy to approach people. And it's oh, perfect. Was, yes. Perfect timing. Put yes. The right place. <laughs> wow. It is. Yep. Well. Yep. It, it's, it's, and it's, I tell you what, the more you do it, and you'll notice, because when you go up to people like that, you'll say, we're just out praying for people, because we know people are hurting. Yes. And a lot of people just don't, you know, they, they just want to know people care, and we care, and we want to pray for you, and just let you know that God knows you, and He loves you. And and then pray, and then see where the conversation goes. But it's it's a lot of fun, and it will really build your faith. Yes. Amen. Wow. <laughs> we're running out of words, because... We're really, as we're really, really amazed of of what you just shared. Yes, and of course, wow. <laughs> what we are out of the only Aww. thing we can say is wow. <laughs> Glory to God. Wow. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, I wish I was. I wish I was there to go treasure hunting with you. <laughs> yes, so that you can. I uh, know you can. You can. I don't know. We can experience together the yes. treasure hunting. <laughs> And of course, experience. That's right. Well, may maybe one day, maybe one day I'll come to the Philippines. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are very blessed. <laughs> Where we um, blessed of what you just shared, uh -huh, and of course. <laughs> it really boosts me, my confidence so upon approaching people. Well, thank you, Minister Cherry, for yes, sharing that wonderful word. It thank is very powerful and timely. And uh, it strikes me a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you am for very blessed for You're having welcome. you today. You, you welcome. You go and make disciples. Yes. Amen. Um, <laughs> Minister, Amen. Cherry, Minister Cherry, before we end this uh, this program, can you can you speak a prayer to this program and to those listeners of this program? Yes, of course. I would be honored to. So, Father God, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're working right now. As yes. we pray, God, you're sending your ministering angels, God. You're, you're bringing revelation. You're, you're stirring in believers in Jesus Christ, the urgency to preach the gospel. You're giving them boldness right now in Jesus' name. You're giving them the, the knowledge um, of who they are in Jesus Christ. Yes. You're giving them a revelation of who they are and the power of the Holy Spirit that is within them. You are giving them the, the revelation of the fact that they are ministers of the gospel everywhere they go. Lord, I ask that you would give them a kingdom mindset, Lord yes. Jesus. They would have an eternal perspective, Lord. Yes. Father, that as they get up and get ready to, to, to go about their day, that they'll be very conscious, Lord, and be very strategic yes. in the things that they would do. Lord, I ask that you would help them not to be too busy to see the divine appointments around them, Lord. Father, I ask that you would give them just that agape type of love, yes. that the love of, of the Father would overflow from them, Lord, unto other, other people. Father, that people would see the sincerity and they would see the love 
-hmm. and that they would know that that these believers in Jesus Christ are are out um, uh, on on the Lord's behalf, that they're His hands and His feet. And so I just thank you for this program. I thank you for um, the Kingdom Connection, Lord. I thank you. And I just ask, Father, that you would increase. There would be increase, increase, increase yes. in every area of their lives, Lord God. Mm-hmm. I thank you for these young people, Lord, that are taking a stand for the gospel. Lord, I ask that you would give them wisdom beyond their years, Lord Jesus. Father, that you would fill their lips, God, with your yes. words. They would be so, they would speak with confidence. They would speak with boldness and authority, Lord God. And so we just thank you that as they go, Lord, they will see signs and wonders because you say signs and wonders will follow the preaching of the gospel. So we believe, Lord, there will be healings that will come, Lord God, that, Father, there would be manifested um, prophetic words that would come, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, Lord, would come forth. We just thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit, and we just give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, and we believe for a mighty harvest. A mighty harvest is coming to the Philippines. A mighty harvest is coming to America. A mighty harvest is spreading across this globe, for the coming of Jesus Christ is near. We thank you, Father. We love you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Wow. wow. It's a powerful prayer. Yes, um, so, indeed. Um, Minister Cherry, I think we will bid you a temporary goodbye because yes. I know this won't be the last yes. the last time that we will, be, right. we will be having you in our program. Mm-hmm. So, goodbye, um, yes. Mom Cherry. Um, I hope to see or uh, to have you again here yes, in, in our program. In our program. Okay. God, God, bless. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Wow. So that was Minister Cherry Anderson. Anderson. Uh, messi- um, she shared to us a very timely and very mm-hmm. clear message. Message. Na- um, I listeners. think I don't mm-hmm. consider it as a message, but uh, a, a strategy. Yeah, strategy. A strategy for us youth. To, on how to approach people, how to share mm-hmm. the message of the kingdom. Yes. So it is very. Yes, and I was very uh, blessed when she said that connecting to the people, building bridges to be one. Yes, we instead of building mandate. gaps, yes, why yes. not build bridge? Yes, because I highly, I also highly believe that we connect for a purpose, for one purpose, for a mandate, for one purpose, and that purpose is for the glory of our God. Yes, so. Um, anyone who is listening, uh, I know we are all. Uh, so we feel some. Oh, sometimes we feel scared about uh, about uh, approaching people that they might get rejected. Uh, we might get rejected, mm-hmm. but just like what uh, Minister Cherry, it's not the. Uh, um, it's is it it will um like hindi like kung ano yung iniisip natin. Don't ano don't yung na input sa atin mm-hmm. sa sa ating isip na, dahil <laughs> natatakot tayo, mm. hindi yun yung nangyayari talaga. Parang ginagawa lang yun ng kaaway in order to, in order to hinder, yes, yes to, to distract hin- us mm-hmm. from progress. doing uh-huh. what God has wanted us to Amen. do. Yes. Wow. So, wow. <sighs> hindi ko naisa-isahin kasi i- what he said was very clear and uh, clear as transparent. Yeah. Uh, what transparent talaga yes, yung pagka-explain niya. Yeah. So, again, I am your coach, Kai. I am your coach, Jed. A temporary goodbye to you all. See you. <laughs> see you when we see a, you. <laughs> yes, to see you in our next uh, program. And uh, I hope you continue to support the Kingdom Talk and Kingdom, Kingdom Connect. Connect. So, bye-bye bye for, for now. now.